Lucid. get into media, especially because there aren't that many people, at least uh, in, in the U.S., in media. I, I want to come here to learn how to create stories better, basically. In our culture in this industry, by giving those who, are, who don't have the opportunity to have a seat at this table a voice. You have to see the world through our eyes to get the job. Once you get the door, you can see the world through your eyes because you're going to do that anyway. Um, and that's why we hire you, right? We want you to come in and bring that like a lot of brown. I um, and you don't always see a lot of brown skinned people on television. That's just the reality. And I want, I really wanted other brown skinned females to know like you can be on television. You can do the thing that you want to do. Uh, walking around the Q front offices right now and it's pretty unreal. A lot of behind the scenes stuff I've never seen before. I uh, got to go on the court. I uh, got the view over here of uh, the river, and it's been an unreal experience so far. Didn't really think it'd be this behind the scenes. It's pretty awesome. When they leave there, they walk into an interview with another agency or corporation and say, uh, I didn't just go to school, and, and this isn't just you know school work that I did. This is the stuff that I actually worked on, and this is real. Cool experience of what our campaign is trying to do. Our second idea, t-shirt toss and towel toss. Virtual reality is an experience like no other. It's completely immersive and it puts the user in the middle of all the action. Um, the level of uh, detail, insight, intellect. I mean, man, when I was when I was in school, I can't lie, I wasn't. I wasn't. Because of that, Team Two Equality <laughs> is the winner. made it very hard on us. Uh, not just the five that are standing up here. I mean, this, this list was much larger than this. It took a lot for us to get down into these five. Um, but what I will say about these five is that uh, in their own way, different for each one, they made their mark. And not only did they make their mark on us, they made their mark on their peers in their groups. And so, you know, talk about leadership, we can talk about expertise, experience, whatever. You know, we can talk about a lot of different things, but I think for the winner, he held something intangible that nobody else, not in his group, not in any other group did, and it was just the ability to bring to life the ideas of his team to perfection. And that winner, the young man here, James Adams. Congratulations to James, and he'll have the opportunity to spend the summer with us in Dallas uh, with the I Create Summer Boot Camp. Sometimes you have like opportunities in life like this that just kind of brings that fire back in you. It makes it sparks that creativity. It makes you more hungry to do better. <coughs> I know what I want to do in life. I don't want to continue doing something like this advertising, advertising and marketing. <coughs> but it's just a great opportunity. And you giving us an opportunity like this, it's amazing. The stuff I learned here in four days is doesn't even fathom the stuff I learned in years of college applying it to a real life setting. This has been so fulfilling for me just to see everybody. Like, this is better than any paycheck. This is better than any <laughs> fancy restaurant. This is better than any fancy event. Um, this is what it's about. 
Um, and if you can get to a place in life, you don't necessarily have to work at Marcus Graham, you don't have to work at Hennessy, you don't have to work with the Cavs, you don't have to work at Nike. But if you can apply this, just remember this moment, whenever you move forward, try to apply this somewhere in your life. Mentor somebody, help somebody out, because you all are the future. I am just so amazed. We talk about it, the panelists, we talked about how creative y'all are, and you don't even really know it. Like, you just don't realize how brilliant you are.